Nothing is. Pay attention. Pay attention to these words. Give all your presence to this realization, to this insight. Nothing is. Nothing is. You see the opposite? In the same way, nothing happens. So usually we interpret that as like circumstantially. Nothing happens. But really, what happens is nothing. Nothing is. Nothing is that which exists. Nothing only for the mind. Because it is ingraspable. Source of all forms of experience is ingraspable. So it is nothing in particular, but it is. Without it, no expression can appear. When you know that, you also know that nothing is lacking. If nothing is, when well, nothing is lacking, nothing is complete. <laughs> you see that beautiful paradox? which brings you to realize truth. It is the best. What can happen in this life? Because your nothing becomes everything. You are one. And you are one with all self-expression. You are also life. Everything expressing the one as one. So everything moves in perfect balance, accordance, proportion. But to experience that, you have to be who you really are. And you cannot not be who you really are. But it is about being fully conscious about it. Because that changes all your experience on this space-time.
then you know for sure that you are beyond space-time. And it is easiest thing to realize that it always reality of everything. But usually we associate reality with its expressions which are illusory. And this is... I forgot the word. <laughs> Because I am not in that vibration. Ignorance, yes, ignorance. <laughs> ignorance to the truth. Fear to let go the illusion. But you will have to let go anyway. So you don't need to wait till you be in your deathbed be wise cause if you watch this video I assume you are on the path of awakening There is no path, really. But you chose to wake up in this life. So, you can do it very pleasantly, actually, by just letting go of illusion through your conscious presence, silence. You can melt your illusory identity and realize your true identity. Because otherwise, if you meant to wake up and you avoid that, when life will shred you into pieces. You will always burn from your conditioned identity by your believing in various thoughts And yes, this realization is simply seeing what is real, acknowledging to what's real, simple as that, beyond simplicity when you're really fully conscious of that.
but yes for the body mind spirit constructs these constructs of illusion which we recreate in this experience there is integration natural integration you don't need to manage that it is automatic you just need to rest in truth allow be and everything is being itself that is true meaning of life and yes and and you also need to allow to embody that to express that to radiate that to act in 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 unity with all to really see to really put an accent and slash on this truth of divine self in every 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 appearance in every state of being in every circumstance this is real accent in everything and ignorance is unconsciously putting that accent on transitory forms forms of experience changeful appearances to glorify some ideas that you most value like family or even some ideas some conditioned ideas about God so if you do that you are always in resistance you are always in the conflict you are always in confusion suffering because appearance is always changing so remember the true slash which is also equal to no slash at all there is no slash because divine self is nothing and everything and nor nothing nor everything so I pointing directly and you can experience it directly use your experience to find yourself beyond experience and yes and there is no ego as some kind of separate identity it is only self expression expression of the self there is no mind there is 
only minding. It is only your thinking. In this empty moment. So stop thinking and realize the truth that only you are. On the self is. And so that conditioned identity or ego or mind appears as real and stable because we just repeat it a pattern of self-expression from the day we are born and started being conditioned in a sense this part this is natural part of this experience nothing wrong with that but yes here comes the time to to really see that that is only a habit of self-expression but it is your self-expression there is only one you you are not in parts give your attention to attention because attention is the most closest extension of yourself it is like divine finger through which you create all your experiences so when you put that finger to itself attention to attention you will start to wake up like God like infinite self and then yes you can express your, yourself from your heart in full freedom in clear slate every moment of experience you are fresh you are eternal but you never get old So good, so clear. This is my heart, most heartfelt gift. So take it to the heart, apply it, make it your direct experience, make it your direct proof And I have nothing more.
I have nothing. What are you have? Who are you? So I leave you with that. Just be with that. And have the most amazing life. You are that. And see you in the moment. <laughs>